welcome to Art Hampton's The Throckmorton Gallery. And I'm with Craig Block, who is of the Throckmorton Gallery. And your gallery is quite unique because your uh, specialty is uh, something that I don't know of anyone else who's captured that part of the market of art. Yes, well, we are Throckmorton Fine Art, uh, located on 57th Street. It's 145 East 57th Street, which is between 3rd and Lexington uh, in Manhattan. And we specialize in three different areas of uh, fine art. We have the Pre-Columbian Art Division, uh, Latin American Contemporary and Vintage Photography, and Early Chinese Buddhist Sculpture and Early Chinese Neolithic Jades, which um, really is is quite a unique little niche that we've carved out for ourselves uh, in the art market, um, basically worldwide. We're probably one of the only galleries that actually does um, uh, partake in all three different you know, subject matters. Speaking of worldwide, Art Hamptons, now celebrating its third year, has become an art show of international importance. Yes, it's it's grown tremendously. We've watched it in you know it's three years old this year, and uh, this is our second year participating, and um, there are I think about 80 dealers this year. Um, there's galleries from uh, Moscow, Japan, New York, San Francisco. Uh, I think there's some people from London. Um, so there's something really here for well, you're in, everyone. You're in good company, but yes. you guys stand out from the rest because of what you do. Could, Craig, could you uh, give our viewers a tour of what exactly Throckmorton has brought here to Art Hampton? Certainly. I'd love to show you some of the things that we have. Ernie, here you're looking at um, actually a black and white photograph. This is by um, a French photographer, Lucien Clerg, uh, which this is a show that just finished up in the gallery. Um, it was just just closed last week and Lucien is 76 years old and he's been a professional photographer for about 55 years now and um, he really is one of the last of the old school photographers in France uh, working in gelatin silver print and platinum and um, this is a, a, a group of work known as the zebra series here we have a beautiful example of a Chinese Buddha stone head. This particular example is Northern Qi, which is about 550 to 570 AD. This is one of many examples that we have in the gallery of Chinese Buddhist sculpture. This particular piece is also from China, and this is just a, a slightly later period. This is of the Tang period, which is from 618 to about 908 AD. And this beautiful stone Buddha head is carved out of marble. And what's um, particularly attractive is the beautiful um, stone carving work that's done in, in the hair piece. This is an absolutely magnificent portrait of the artist Frida Kahlo, which coincidentally, actually yesterday, would have been her 103rd birthday. So we brought uh, several images of Frida for this particular art fair. Um, this beautiful color image was taken in 1938 by Nicholas Marai, and actually was some of the first images ever taken in color by any any photographer. Uh, Ectochrome color was developed by Kodak in 1938 and Nicholas Marai was um, very fortunate to be one of the first photographers um, hired by um, Life magazine to actually take images in color. Now you're looking at a, a, a quite a striking photograph. This is taken by Reuven Affinador, which is, um, he is one of the, the leading contemporary photographers uh, today. Um, most notably, you see his work um, in fashion magazines such as uh, Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, um, but this is a, a body of work known as Mil Besos, or A Thousand Kisses. And um, this is a, an exhibition that we had last fall uh, in the gallery on 57th Street, which um, is still available. There are many images. Uh, they are in, in editions of 30, and they come in various sizes. As you can see, this, this particular sculpture really is, is 
quite um, magnetic. It's, a, it's absolutely beautiful, the, the workmanship and the, the line, and it really fits in in any decor. It's absolutely magnificent, and we are so happy that Carol Ross was willing to loan it to us for the exhibition here at Art Hamptons. This is a, a pre-Columbian piece, and it's the Taino culture, and it's known as an elbow stone, which would have actually been, um, we believe, a, known as a trophy for one of the tribesmen. It's quite, quite um, unusual because of the, the carving. You see the beautiful face here. Now this is also from the Taino tribe or culture and what's so amazing is that this one is so completely different and is such a simplistic, you know, almost modernist uh, sculpture. Here you're looking at one of the most important pieces in the booth and this is an Olmec mask and it's made of jade and it most likely is the portrait of a ruler. What's so amazing is that this would have been hand carved and is actually about a thousand BC. Thank you Craig for giving us this tour of the Throckmorton Galleries here at Art Hamptons. You're so knowledgeable and approachable, and, and your art uh, speaks to uh, a large part of our viewership that's interested in quality. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's great to see you, Ernie. And um, really, if you really want to see something unique and different, uh, I think that Throckmorton Fine Art is the place to come. There are things um, from all over the world in the gallery and here at Art Hamptons and we're very happy to work with people um, if you want to build a collection, if you'd like to, to talk about learning how to become a collector and if you are already a collector and possibly have provenance pieces that you'd be interested in selling or possibly um, obtaining appraisals for insurance, we're more than happy to work with people. Uh, Throckmorton Fine Art, my name is Craig Block, Spencer Throckmorton, um, we're here and we'll be happy to work with you. WVBH-TV, Hamptons Television.